know that I'm a foreign star If you might talk, I'll make your mind And if they ain't showing no love, I don't let it get to my mind And I be getting to it with my craft divine, I claim what's mine And I can't play all of those games, I to protect my time I know that I'm a foreign star, if you might type, I'll make your mind What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's MC333, back at it again. Namo Himalaya. Thank you for everyone tuning in. I appreciate you. Salute you. And if you're new to the channel, my name's MC. Entrepreneur, musician, and psychic. Tarot reader. No brand. The channel. This is my main channel here. And if you're looking for any extensives or anything personal that you're looking to learn about at the channel here, you can check out the description box below. And there you'll have everything covered. We're going to get right into it, Cancer. If you're a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Progressed, this is your tarot card reading. If you have Cancer in any other planetary energies, any other houses, etc., you can apply it in those houses or areas of life, aka areas of light if you know how to do so. So let's get right into it. If you guys are looking for personals, etc., you can uh, hit, me, hit my email directly, mc333, official at protonmail, or at proton.me, sorry. And you can also hit the web link down below, beacons.ai slash mc333 for particular services and particular specific readings and things of that nature. If you want something that's more general, we have it there too. You can also just go through the email. If you're looking for more specific or what we got to offer, range of services, you can go towards the link. So generals and through the email is 24 hours as well. So if you're looking for like an emergency, something right away, we have 24 hours or so right there but cancer i hope you guys are doing well you guys get your reading on sunday you're also paired up with my cardinal sign cardinal fire signs aries so if you have aries in your charter nor aries don't hesitate to send them that reading or go check out that aries reading as well i hope this message reaches all that it needs and it resonates with all that it needs and for those who doesn't resonate with this is a collective not one-on-one -on -one. remember that so take what resonate leave what doesn't this is a safe space here comment down below let me know where you're tuning in from any negativity is rebuked any negativity will and always be rebuked cancer there may be certain things that you need to close off or, you know set boundaries towards as well in your life Um, I'm just shuffling these extra right now just because we just finished the Aries reading. I just want to make sure that my cards are nice and diced compared to shuffling at what I actually shuffled to in between readings. <laughs> just want to be extra. Just want to make sure, you know, as we tap in here, let's see what's up. As we split, bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords, Idea, Separation, There's an idea you want to move forward with, Cancer. For some of you guys, Cancer, there's an idea you want to move forward with. But you're not sure how to move forward with it. You're trying to see if you do take action on this idea, where it will lead you. And if it's something that you want to participate in. You have the Hierophant. Taurus energy in the past. There could be, you could be dealing with a direct Taurus in your life as well, but, or just Earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Tur Taurus, and I think that energy is in the past. I think this, for some of you guys, if this is a relationship, this past person, uh, like there was a lot of, um, the reason why it's in the past is because there's a lot of rulership over, over maybe, do, or, or dominion and control over who you are, right? Fixated Earth energy. Maybe this person kind of had you had you feeling like you weren't smart enough or you weren't ready. All right, maybe you felt um maybe belittled, right? Cancer. This is this is learning, but I think there was something that 
if this is if this is if this is you wanting to learn and actually moving forward with learning then amazing for some of you guys this is a figure that's and like maybe an authoritative figure or a dominating figure possibly earth sign virgo capricorn and taurus that was very stubborn and ruling possibly over you which is why you kind of had to separate because of the energy that you receive from this person led to led to like separation and i think cancer you for 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 you here cancer very interesting spread going down here and i like it i like it it's spicy it's cold it's manifestation it's good it's good there's an idea you're thinking about something and if you should pursue something and where where the idea of something will go the hierophant energy you could have taurus in your chart if you have Taurus and you try, make sure you head over and check out the Taurus reading as well. Sun, Moon, Ascendant. But I feel like this person of this, maybe this person of authority, maybe this teacher is in the past. Maybe they stopped putting in effort because this card lets me know when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And I think this energy, maybe you were learning from this individual and you were the student but you weren't ready to learn just yet. So the teacher is in the past and you're not really engaging. There was some separation here because what you receive, you weren't ready to, to move forward with. You, like the idea for you led instead of maybe new insights and expanding your mindset, this led to a little bit of separation maybe not wanting to learn. Maybe you didn't want to learn from this uh, position of authority because you already, like you, you could have your own idea of authority and your own practicality and self-sustainability, your own initiative. So you don't, you're not, you, you're not too, Cancer, you're not too open to learn right now, like from, from that, from, from other people, you know what I'm saying? So you, that energy was really weird for you. Like, that wasn't like you could learn from it and you're and you're utilizing why you don't want to kind of go back to certain things or certain people you know what i'm saying like it's it's letting you it's giving you the confirmation that you need regarding who what people places and things you need to let go of and what ideas you want to move forward with and what mindsets you want to move forward with in order to continue manifesting based upon your actions because you've been something's been manifesting based upon actions that have been taken. Something's manifesting within your surroundings, within your environment, and is based upon your actions. This manifestation could be good or or like negative or positive based upon that's 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 you have to be intuitive in, with in your life to know what's been manifesting based upon certain separation or, or, or just certain conversation based upon what you receive from a, a, someone who's in like a position of authority or who sees himself in like high regard or has a lot of wisdom. But that's in the past, so that person's not here anymore. So there was like a conversation that you received based upon this person and that could have led to separation, and that's happening because of your actions. You could be pulling away from something or someone. And that's, you're going to know which actions you've taken to separate or not, and you're going to know which polar shift you're on, whether you're the one separating or you're the one that was separated from. You are cardinal water, but I don't, but this is in hidden influences. So I feel like 
these are actions that you've been taking within your environment and surroundings. That's why something's been manifesting because you've been taking action in some way, shape, or form. We always take action. It just may not be in alignment to this higher friend energy, this fixated, this stability, this Taurus energy. Maybe the actions that you've taken, maybe the actions you're taking aren't practical or have no structure or foundation. They don't make sense for like the relationship you're in or for the business and job that you're in. So of course, there's certain things that are going to be conflicting. Right? We have the Queen of Wands in position four. Before we continue, I'm going to pull a mystery card right now. I almost forgot about the mystery card. How dare I? Mystery card, give us confirmation for my Cancerians. Sun, Moon, Ascendant, and Progress. Show me confirmation for Cancer. Let's check it out, y'all. Comment down below. Let me know what you think the mystery confirmation card is. We're going to check it out right after we're done going through the spread. I'm going to put that right off to the side. Bottom of the deck, hangman. Your perspective is shifting right now, Cancer. You're seeing things from a different, a whole new way. You're seeing things in a whole new way, in a whole new light. There's something that, like, there's a really big realization going on based upon some sort of conversation, um, communication, dialogue. Separation. Could be lack of communication. Air is often cold energy. So there could be things not being communicated right now that you know may that you may want to communicate, or maybe you're just analyzing right now based upon the position that you're in. But the actions that you're taking within your surroundings, I feel like isn't doesn't offer this hierophant energy, this Taurus energy. This is a Taurus, this is Taurus, the zodiac energy of Taurus in, in tarot, hierophant. So there's no stability it based upon the actions you're taking. It, it, it's shaking up your foundation. So if it's a relationship thing, you got to understand that certain certain actions you take are obviously going to help or, or damage your relationship. So it's up to you to realize what actions do I know help my relationship and help will help it prosper and move forward. And what actions do I know will hold me back and will not move my relationship forward. And, and, and we should all know these things. Sometimes we don't and we conflict ourselves based upon what we want to do and the actions we want to take and having fun and the distractions. And we're in the world. We're, 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 we're in the world, right? We're not of the world. We're in the world. So there's a lot of things sometimes that are conflicting and I get it, right? Yeah. We have the queen of wands. It's a little challenging for you to be open and to receive. Um, I think, I think you're very independent cancer in some way, shape or form. And whatever energy, whatever, whatever wants, like whatever energy is asking you to open up to spirit, to the universe, to your partner, to whatever, be receptive. It's hard for you to open up because of something. There's a, there's a blockage that's keeping you closed off. That's not allowing your heart chakra and your heart energies and your emotions to really be felt and open and, and, and flow. You're, you're keeping them caught and bundled up and blocked. For, for for a reason that I'm not sure here, that I'm not seeing right now. But you're going to know why you're keeping that guard up. It's like the ego is kind of stepping in at certain times. And it's not allowing you to be open to receive from your partner, from the universe, so that you can take actions as that co-creator, as that partner. Right? I think it's hard for you to know what actions to take because you're not in that feminine energy, you're not being open to receive, you're more so always pushing out like the princess of wands. So, right, like the, the prince, the queen is, is being open and the princess is what manifests out of the openness, right? Out of you being able to receive, knowing what actions to take, that's why it manifests. But you keep taking action and not being open to receive. Or for some reason, something's blocking you because it's a challenge to be open to receive. It's not like you don't want to, you want to because you, there's, there's connection here. But there's a challenge and you may have, may, maybe there's trauma here. Maybe you've been hurt here where it doesn't make sense for you to, 
to be open. You know that, you know, or even to be honest, I think it does make sense for you because it's in position four. It's logical. It's four. It's earth. I think that does make sense for you to do. It's just challenging for you to do right now. And there's some sort of blockage. Maybe you were open in the past and, and something happened, right? Maybe with that eight of cups energy, others' perspectives. Right? Maybe you spent a lot of time in another partnership and you were you were very invested and you ended up getting hurt because you were open and very emotional. There was someone else here, Cancer, that hurts you, which is why you stepped away and stopped dealing with that, with the like with the whole love and being open. I'm seeing it now. So The spirit is telling me as well that there's certain things that you know here, Cancer, that isn't f fulfilling to you, but you keep indulging in or you keep doing or participating in, and you know it's time to end or put it to a stop. I'm not sure who that's for. But whatever you're doing here is, is disrupting your structure, so you need to step away. And that may be involving someone else because that's in others' perspectives. So others' perspectives could be having an influence on your own perspective and that could be creating a blockage or stopping you from receiving what's what's meant for you we have the ace of discs best path for you to walk and what you need to pay attention to you have to be practical and make sense of your own make, make, make sense of your own mind like make sense out of what you do and the actions that you're taking is it does it make sense for you to be open to receive and follow the lead. I think you're very independent here, Cancer. This energy does ask you to receive and take action maybe with a partner. Does it make sense for you to do that? Maybe you got to be more practical. How can you show up in a practical way to, to, to create some foundation around your relationship here? Maybe you, I think this, this, is, this is something that you have to do. I think you here, Cancer, are going to, you have to pay attention to this because you, this is the best path for you to walk on. This is something you have to initiate yourself. If there's no foundation or stability here, I think, I think you know why personally. If you guys want a personal reading or extensive, you can book down below. But I think personally, you understand that there's no foundation here. But you know why there's no foundation based upon certain actions and what's been manifesting. It's hard for you to receive and act, take the actions based upon what you're receiving from other individuals, maybe from your partner. You know, maybe maybe you guys have certain conversations and it's considered, but it's hard for you to back that up and take the actions behind it. Maybe it doesn't resonate with you. So I'm hearing if things don't resonate and there's no foundation, what has to happen? You have to be the one to initiate that stability. And maybe you need to realize, okay, where do I need to shift and make sense out of certain things so that this can actually last and so that we actually have a foundation. So I can I can learn, I can heal, and I can open up to this new energy and actually immerse myself in, in something beautiful. And you have to move, and, and, and that the outcome of that is going to be manifesting from that idea, from the mind. Manifesting from the mind because it does, you're doing what makes sense. You're not just taking the actions anymore because of how you feel. You have to do what makes sense and be a little bit logical here, Cancer. It's time to step away from the things that no longer serve you so you can tap in and actually manifest what's been waiting for you here. The Sepris Princess of Swords. There's an idea that's been waiting to manifest. It already came to you. But you're not sure if you want to go about that manifestation because you're used to the Princess of Wands. Whatever this is within your surroundings that you're usually doing to take to have fun or to feel good or pleasurable or to take action on or feeling like you can express yourself or be creative, whatever the case may be. So you don't really want to tap into this new energy. But that's why this, the, the higher fin energy is here because we have stubbornness. So even if this doesn't represent you or another person, this could be you being stubborn. And I'm hearing it's time for you to stop being stubborn. That's why it's in the past because you're putting the stubbornness away. Let's get into the mystery card because this is getting extensive. I love it. The tea has been crazy. 
happy full moon in Libra. Cancer, you're going to be feeling it. Your partner with Aries and all cardinal signs are going to feel it this week. As I say that, I get goosebumps, but not just the cardinal signs, but all signs. So make sure y'all are looking out and staying up to date. Tap into the mystery card. Let's check it out. See the Hierophant, only major arcana we have, some earth energy, water, air, earth, fire, water, fire, water, earth, earth, and air. So we have a lot of different energies. For the most part, we have everything. We have earth, we have air, we have water, we have fire. I would like see another major. I would like to see a chariot. I would like to see that power card. I think another major can do. We don't have anything here, and I think a major would give us that nice confirmation. Maybe like the sun energy. Maybe, let's see. Yeah, the sun, the judgment, the world, the hangman. You seen the hangman? No, you know it's your 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 perspective is shifting. Maybe the temperance. Maybe you're developing a little bit more balance. So that you can support the relationship from the mindset and understand that it's not all about this fun or this action or pleasure. If you have Taurus in your, in your chart, make sure you go check out the Taurus reading as well. Because that's going to resonate with you if you have Taurus in the chart. Believe me. Let's see, guys. Maybe Wheel of Fortune. I'd like to see progress as well. Let's check it out. What do we have? What do we have? Okay. Air. Court. Okay. So it's Queen, guys. All this Queen energy, Queen of Swords. This is double confirmation for Queen of Swords, though. And guys, this is just letting me know that with all this air energy and this air and this water, like. You have to. Yeah, you have. This is just letting me know, like, to tap into your divine feminine. It's not all about pushing out, but receiving and then pushing out. This is, it's, it, the message here in this entire, entire reading here, Cancer, is teaching you how to receive. Teaching you how to receive, that way you can respond. If all you do is respond, response, respond, and no matter, this is, this is if you're, if you're, if you're a guy or a male, a man or a woman, this is all energy. You got to tap into that, that feminine energy where you're being open to receive and then you put out. It's not all about talking. It's not always about communicating. It's not always about saying something. Wait till you're spoken to to speak. You know, like, you're like if you're not spoken to, there's nothing to be said. And don't worry about pushing out so much energy and so much worry and so much mind chatter and, and words and this, 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 this. No, like sit back, stay quiet, receive. This will come to you and you'll know exactly what to say and what and, and, and how to move. Right? What to say and how to communicate. I think you're learning that right now. I think you're learning to be more open and not pushing out so much. And you're and, and you have some stubborn energy. That's okay. You could have thick you could have um inner planets dominated by, you know, fixated energies. So make sure you check out your inner planets in your zodiac or in your natal chart. We could do that for you if you need a hand as well. Free consultation with me. Link in bio. So this is very interesting, and this is gonna this is gonna teach you <clears throat> what and who to separate from, and who you need to communicate with, and the mindsets that you need to have with certain people based upon what you receive from them. Certain people you receive genuine genuine energy. Certain people you receive um, animosity. Certain people you receive hate. Right. Certain people you receive love. You can't control everything here. So you have to be able to let, to accept and let go. Let go of expectation, let go of outcome. If it's love, it'll find you. If it's your person, it'll come back. It'll, it'll find you, it'll, it'll, it'll always. It's time for you to let go of stress, open up your heart, and receive. It's not always about putting out. It's sometimes it's about sitting back, Observing and being. Observe your state of being. Observe who you are. Why you're here. The actions you've taken. And ask yourself if you're surprised where you're at. 
you know it's life is life by design you know and if if you if, if you're not happy in a position that you're at you got to ask yourself and take accountability okay where do i need to improve let's see why this is all happening here for you cancer at this point guys i have to ask for your subscription i love to see where you guys are tuning in from comment down below let me know where you guys are tuning in from we have a global community here if you're watching doing live from here hit that like button i appreciate you Today's video is sponsored by McLeod's Blue Light Glasses. Make sure you guys go check that out in the link down below. If you are a digital nomad and you work from your phone or computer often, you guys would want to check that out as it's great for vision health protection and also UV. So if you're in the summertime at the beach, you want to keep your eyes protected and stay fashionable, check that link down below. Back at it again. So ending this off, we have the jackpot, which is amazing great omen and spirits letting us know here this is the opportunity if, if this if it's funny because sometimes are the most ex, the, the experiences we go through that are like the most may, may seem upsetting offers the most growth we have the jackpot of, of diamonds here whatever's happening and whatever you're going through you're learning whatever you're learning is going to help you so much with your foundation you hit the jackpot on some sort of practicality, on some sort of foundation, on some sort of practice. This is teaching you that there may be a lot of opportunity in travel as well. And the, this is showing here, Cancer, if this is the relationship, this partner is exactly, and this partner is exactly who you're looking for to bring you that stability and that foundation, if you're willing to also put in the work. Because I'm hearing this partner is putting in the work. That's why you hit the jackpot. There's a lot of meaning and reasoning here. It's not just for anything. There's also a lot of travel I'm hearing. There's a lot of learning. There's a lot of wisdom. There's a lot of teaching. And a lot of new experiences for the both of you guys, you know, as a couple. I'm hearing there's, this relationship has really good communication as well. And the communication is only going to get stronger. And, this, and it does make... The, the J of Diamonds lets me know it does make perfect sense for you to actually put in the work and create a foundation around this relationship. So if you have to do this ace of discs and initiate some some sort of change in your life and, and some practicality and do what makes sense for you, do it because this 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 is the wish fulfilled. This is what you were looking for when you were asking for the right or the best person or the right relationship for you. And it showed up for you. You just don't realize right now that you have to claim it and align your energy with it. Meaning you have to shift your energy and do your part as well to align with, with something that's so great. You know, we ask the universe for a lot, but do we also put in the work as well? God can give us a lot, but God can also take everything away just like that. And God gave you this. And I think you may be seeing it go away right now and then you're realizing how important it is for you to put in the work and to learn more about who you are and under understanding your state of being this is so nice cancer this full moon listen cancer happy full moon happy full moon in libra happy solar return for my Aries out there, happy Aries season, happy spring, happy happy equinox. If you haven't seen our equinox video, make sure you go check that out. It's along with our email as well. Appreciate you guys. Hope this brought you clarity. As we clear out, I want to let you know that you're the most important part to Triple Three's Tarot. As always, I'm watching from afar, and I'm rooting for you. Sempc Triple Three, we out of Let's go, Namo Himalaya. Keep it going, I never lag And I'm in my spaceship and you know I never lag I can do my travel too